Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a very simple one. I'm going to show you how to propagate in water. Okay, so there are some plants that you can easily propagate in water. Pothos or money plant varieties, philodendrons, lipstick plants, syngoniums. Uh, rubber plants can be easily propagated in water. Uh, plants such as pothos, you can actually permanently grow them in water as well. Uh, some plants you would like to propagate first in water and then move them to the soil once they develop some good roots. Now, uh, I've just removed and cut this, uh, brought this cutting in from the garden. So this is a um, typical golden pothos. And what I've done is I have cut it below the node. So you see these parts here, where, where the roots are uh, developing from, these are called the nodes, okay. So potentially the same plant can be cut here, here, here and here. You can potentially get four plants from this one, right? but uh, just because I want to grow this uh, for a while in water, I need a good size plant. That's why I'm going to make this so long. In fact, I'm going to put two cuttings of this into water and what you need to remember is to make sure that your node is submerged in water okay so I have another one here it's the same thing it's got a node here it's got a node here and it's got a node here so three nodes and the last node I'll make sure that it is submerged in water so this is as simple as propagating a pothos in water and this is the same uh, technique that you use with any plant that you water propagate. A uh, few things to remember about the water itself, you can use filtered water or regular tap water. This is regular tap water. Uh, try and ensure that you change the water every uh, few days. Okay, uh, this is to make sure that there is no algae formation otherwise your entire glass jar will look uh, green in color or uh, you'll have some mosquito larvae etc. So make sure that uh, you keep changing water regularly. And I will show you some plants that I have been propagating for some time. Look at the lovely roots on this one. This is the neon pothos so you can see and this is the philodendron brazil which has already got some roots in water. And neon pothos as well it's got these long roots it's been in water for a while about a month I think now this one as well so it's been in water for a while see the size of the root system okay so it's looking doing really well similarly this is the enjoy pothos which again has developed some lovely roots this is the marble queen which again has got some nice roots that have already developed so you can see this and this is where the roots have come from from the nodes okay so that's the reason you need to have the node submerged in water so try this out brightens up the corner of your house any corner you can put them in bathrooms any bright light areas once the roots have developed and you move them into soil don't immediately move them into under the direct sun Keep them keep the soil moist because the plant needs to adjust to its new media which is soil and slowly once you once you feel that new growth has started on the plant that's when you will then uh, move it to, to bright light this is how you do water propagation so do try it out thank you